This is lesson 4, integration of exponential functions. We are to evaluate the integral of dx over e to the power of x minus 1. So this is a fraction, but we have two terms in the denominator. So we cannot separate this into two fractions. And there is no integration formula for a given like this. So what we will do is to transform this now into an integrable form. But we cannot perform integration by substitution directly because supposing we we want we would let u be equal to e to the power of x minus 1 when we find its differential e to the power of x would still be in the given so we cannot eliminate this so substitution is not yet possible so what we can do here is to multiply e to the power of negative x in both numerator and in the denominator Take note that when we are multiplying here e to the power of x, negative x, over e to the power of negative x, this is just equal to 1. So that means we are not changing the given. So we are doing this because we want to change our given into an integrable form. Now recall again, if u is equal to e to the power of x minus 1, du should be equal to e to the power of x dx. So if there was e to the power of x in the numerator, then this given would have been integrable. So we have to put e to the power of x in the numerator. So that this will now be equal to e to the power of negative x dx over e to the power of negative x over e to the power of x minus 1. Okay, so that's the integral of e to the power of negative x dx. Take note, this will now become e to the power of 0 minus e to the power of negative x. Now, why is that 0? We're multiplying negative e to the power of negative x times e to the power of x. They have the same base, and then their exponents are negative x and x. Again, recall... In the loss of exponents, a to the power of m times a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So we have to add their exponents. So that negative x plus x equals 0. Okay? So e to the power of negative x dx, any number raised to the power of 0 is just equal to 1, minus e to the power of negative x. This time, we can perform integration by substitution. So if we let u be equal to 1 minus e to the power of negative x, when finding its differential, the differential of 1 is 0, so negative e to the power of negative x times the differential of the exponent is negative 1 dx. And therefore, e to the power of negative x dx is equal to du. We can substitute so that du over that's equal to du over u. And the differential of du over u is equal to ln of u plus c. Okay, so therefore the answer is the ln of 1 minus e to the power of negative x plus c.